What's up everybody, Whisper here, and welcome back to a, another Minecraft video. But today isn't any other Minecraft video, it's a tutorial video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get Forge 1.14.4 to work with Optifine, because currently it's quite hard to get the two to work together. Which is a bit ridiculous really, because Optifine makes Minecraft so much better, and Forge also does, because you can add mods and everything. So as you can see, currently I am on Minecraft 1.14.4, and I have Forge on. Now it only says I have two mods loaded, and if I go into the mods folder, it says I have Forge and Minecraft on. However, if I go into my options and video settings, all of the Optifine options are there as well. So that begs the question, how did I do this? So unfortunately, Minecraft Forge and Optifine now don't like to work with each other because Optifine you can install it as a client on Minecraft which means it can work on its own without Forge. Now Forge seems to have a problem with this but fortunately for all of us who like shaders and good settings on Minecraft there are a version of each Minecraft Forge and Optifine that work with each other on 1.14.4. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is go to files.minecraft forge.net, click the little 1.14 button and then go over here to 1.14.4. There are a lot of Forge versions but only one work with Optifine. That is the specific version of Forge 1.14.4.28.1.56. So now we need to go all the way down here and find that. So the number you're looking here for is 28.1.56. And here it is. So it's about halfway down the page. So it should just say 28.1.56. And this is the version you need. So go across here and click installer. It'll take you to a it'll take you to an ad page. I have ad block on though, so it shouldn't really matter too much. Click skip and it should download this here for you. Click, click keep. So now you can drag this onto your desktop if you so wish. And double click it. Mod system installer will come up and you want to click install client to your Minecraft file. Now I already have this version of Forge so I'm not going to install it but you should. So once you've installed that version of Forge you need to click onto your Minecraft and then go to installations and you need to click a new profile over here. You can call this anything you like so I'm just going to call this Optifine and Forge and then you want to click on version and then you need to go and find that specific version of Forge which for you it should all be at the bottom because it's new version of Forge and you haven't installed it yet but for me it's just over here because I have installed it. So once you do that you can click create. So find the new profile you have made and make sure it's the correct version so there it is and then click play. This screen should come up creating all of the Forge folders you need. So once you've loaded Minecraft and the Forge numbers and words that I'm not too sure what mean are down there, then you've successfully installed Forge. That's part one of this installation tutorial. You then want to quit Minecraft and then go back onto your internet browser and go onto the Optifine website and you can find this link down in the description below. Again, there is a specific version of Optifine which only works with Forge. And that is the version here, which is the second one from the top for 1.14.4. Currently, there is no versions for 1.15 yet. And I think that's because Minecraft just updating a lot recently. So when you find this version here, you want to then go click download. Again, it will take you to another ad site. Just wait for five seconds here and then you can click next. So once that loaded, it will bring you onto this page here. And you just want to click download Optifine 1.14.4 underscore HD underscore U underscore F4 dot jar. So when you've clicked that, Optifine will download here. Again, you want to click keep and then get rid of this ad page. So this is the important bit now. So then you want to go, if you're on Windows 10 like me, you want to click on the keyboard button. You want to click your Windows and R button and it will bring you to this run page. Then you want to type in percent app data percent and click OK. And then you want to find the .minecraft file. And then you want to find the mod folder. So once you click the mod folder, there shouldn't be anything in here at the moment. Obviously, there is for me. And that is just the file that we've just downloaded. You just want to put that in there and leave it. Then you want to go back onto Minecraft and then find the version that you just installed of Forge and click play. So once you're onto Minecraft, just go and check that it works. So you can just find any old world. I've got a lot on here. So I'm just going to create a new world and call it test. And once your Minecraft world has loaded, you should be brought up with shaders. If not, then you can go on to options, video settings and find shaders down here. And there should be some shaders in your pack already. But if there's not, then there are loads of shaders, lovely shaders that you can find online. Personally, my favorite is the BSL medium.zip file. I also like the Rudo play shaders. I always think these look quite snazzy. And then also there are other options for Optifine, obviously, to make your computer faster and your game smoother. So now you can use shaders or Optifine settings while you're also using mods. Obviously, if you want to add any more mods, like Lucky Blocks, for instance, you can just add that to your mods folder and they should be all okay. 
So I just thought this would be a useful video for those of you who like using shaders or optimize settings and like modded Minecraft like myself and were struggling to find how you couldn't work Minecraft Forge with Optifine together because back in you know the OG days in 1.6 you could use these two together and they work absolutely fine but Optifine's grown a little bit since then and has created its own client on Minecraft. Personally I think that they, sh Minecraft or Microsoft or Mojang should just incorporate Forge and Optifine into their games already because the modded Minecraft community is absolutely awesome and the people who've made Optifine equally are awesome as well. So that's it for this video. If this helped you out, make sure to leave a comment down below. And if you're having any problems, I'll try and help you out and leave that down below as well. But thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Whisper and I'll see you guys next time.